New tonight, WRL has obtained disturbing video of a Fayetteville road rage shooting that left a 32 year old and father of three dead. Before we get to it, a warning. It could be difficult to watch. WRL's Mark Boyle is in the live center and has combed through this video looking for any clues about how all of this transpired. Mark, it played out so quickly. It all unfolded extremely quickly, Jeb Rob. This is the man right here who was shot and killed in that road rage situation in Fayetteville. We've been learning new details about this for the past several days now. This is a still shot right here of the video you're about to see. This man was a passenger in this vehicle. This is the victim right here. He's pointing at the passenger. The shots came from inside this vehicle, according to police. Fayetteville police asked for video, and tonight they have it. Someone in another vehicle recorded the confrontation. In the video, you see a man standing outside of the passenger side of a truck. And as he gets closer to the motorcyclist, Stephen Addison, a shot is fired, police say, from the truck. Police identified the shooter as 51-year-old Roger Nobles. The suspect's son, Roger Nobles Jr., was outside of the truck with Addison. He starts to walk away. Nobles was arrested on a first-degree murder charge. What we don't know tonight is what was the confrontation all about in the first place at the intersection of Skybo and Cliffdale Roads. Addison was a veteran and a father of three. Nobles is being held at the Cumberland County Jail without bond. I'm Mark Boyle, WRAL News. Two men are being questioned after a motorcyclist was shot and killed during a road rage incident at a busy Fayetteville intersection. WRAL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays talked to police who say multiple people could have been wounded when those bullets started flying. Well, the intersection of Cliffdale and Skybo Road's all clear now, but that wasn't the case this afternoon about 1230. That's when police say a man jumped out of a truck and shot a motorcyclist before jumping back into the truck and fleeing the scene. Investigators were able to track down the truck and its owner to a house on Auburn Street in Cumberland County. Police were waiting for him when he returned and took him and his son into headquarters for questioning. The motorcyclist died at Cafer Valley Medical Center. Anyone with information about this incident has to get in contact with Fayetteville Police. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. Roger Nobles is being held here without bond. Other folks, meanwhile, trying to make sense of this killing. A friend telling me the victim was just on his way home from the gym when he was shot and killed yesterday afternoon. Nobles allegedly pulled out a firearm on Skybo Road. Police say it appears to be a case of road rage. Stephen Addison was killed. He was 32 years old and lives two miles away. According to the friend I spoke with off camera, Addison served in the Army and has three children. Not so long ago, Addison was seen in his neighborhood teaching his kid how to ride a bike. I'm being told Addison wasn't the type to start trouble or get into arguments with people. Police working to learn more about the circumstances that led up to the incident. Investigators have been able to collect some surveillance video and believe there is more cell phone video out there of the incident. Anyone who can offer insight into this case is being asked to reach out to the Fayetteville Police Department. In Fayetteville, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Man accused of murdering a father who just finished serving in the U.S. Army. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Lovingood. And I'm Deborah Morgan. Fayetteville police say Roger Nobles shot and killed Stephen Addison, who is black, during a road rage incident yesterday. WRL's Gilbert Bays posed that question on hate crime charges to the district attorney and joins us now live. Gilbert. Well, Deborah, the district attorney here, Billy West, says he's not really ready to answer that question. He says this is an ongoing investigation, an awful lot of evidence to sort through, more interviews to conduct as well. And he says that will be the thing to determine the answer to that question. This is how Justin Cockrell plans to remember his best friend, Stephen Addison. The two men are from New York. They were battle buddies at Fort Bragg, both recently separated from the Army, both headed back to New York. Well, he still had his lease, whatever, in um, Fayetteville, so he had planned on moving back to New York Friday. This Friday, his wife was coming to pick him up, and uh, he didn't make it. But yesterday, around 1230, police say Addison got into an argument with 51-year-old Roger Nobles and his son near the intersection of Cliffdale and Skybo Roads. The two men in a pickup truck. Addison was driving his motorcycle. Cockrell describes what happened from video shot by a passerby. Well, when he got up to the next light, passenger of the truck got out of his truck and just walked up to trail at the stoplight. And they started arguing. Next thing you know, 
dad just shot him from inside the truck and killed him. Sahara Chance lives next door to Nobles. She's had problems with him for several years and says on several occasions he's called her the N-word. Harassment. He's then took, drove my yard, took pictures of me on my porch. He then shot his gun in the air to turn my music down. I didn't be the hell with this man. District Attorney Billy West says he'll weigh the evidence and see if Nobles should be charged with a hate crime. Yeah, I would say at this point there's not any you know particular crime that we related this uh, incident that's off the table because you know if, if the evidence warrants uh, that type of charge, it's certainly something we would look at and, and pursue. But for now, a former soldier is remembering his battle buddy's last words. And the last thing he said to me was, I love you and I'll see you when you get back. And uh, I didn't get to see him. Such a tragic story. You know, I talked with Billy West, the district attorney, who says he has seen some of the footage that was shot out there by passerbys. And Fable police know that there's more footage out there, so they want anyone who has any to, to turn it in so they can get all angles on what happened out there. Deborah, meanwhile, uh, Nobles remains locked up here at the Carmel County Detention Center. He's locked up without bond. Just a devastating story. Gilbert Bay is reporting live in Fable. Thank you, Gilbert.